Any successful farmer will tell you that attention to detail is important in farming today. Being responsive to the needs of your crop and farming business helps improve productivity and profitability. In pineapples, one of the key factors to profitability is achieving crop uniformity across the field. The most expensive part of growing pineapples is harvesting, so the greater the uniformity, the fewer the number of harvest rounds and therefore the lower the cost. Achieving a uniform crop requires good planting practices, so let's run through some of the key steps. The first step is to look after your planting material. Before planting material is collected, it should be sun cured in the field for a few days after harvest. Leaving it on top of the pineapple plants for a day or two is sufficient in warm, dry and sunny weather. Best results are achieved using fresh material, preferably one to three months old, depending on conditions. Planting material stored in the field for too long can result in hard, dry, leathery leaves curling over the base, which prevents soil contact and delays growth. Material stored for too long will also lose its vigour. If weather is wet after harvest, dip in a registered fungicide to prevent base rot. Treat as soon as possible after separation from the fruit. After collection, it is best to store out of the sun and rain. Harvesting bins are often used. Pack loosely to allow air circulation. Don't place in a cold room. There are risks associated with storing planting material. The first is the potential buildup of red mite. This is common, especially if conditions are hot and dry. A pre-harvest or post-planting miticide spray program can be carried out. Secondly, if conditions are warm and humid, planting material can start to grow, especially if the material is stored in wet or tightly packed conditions. Step two is grading. Sort planting material into a minimum of three size grades, small, medium and large. This may be done as it is collected from the field or later. Planting whole sections with the same size grade contributes significantly to crop uniformity. The grading operation is also a good time to discard poor planting material. The third step is to treat planting material with phosphorus acid to give plants several months of protection against Phytophthora root rot. There are two options. The first is to spray the crowns with phosphorus acid as per the label two weeks prior to fruit harvest. Or secondly, totally immerse sun-cured planting material in 0.5% of phosphorus acid for two minutes prior to planting. The next step is to select a planting spade that matches the size of the planting material. Step five is to regularly check the planting process. Look out for the following problems and encourage planning staff to report them as well. Material is being planted too close to the edge of the bed. The planting machine is not central on the bed. Plants are being buried too shallow. Plants are being buried too deep, often with their hearts filled with soil. The soil is too wet. The machine is going too fast for staff to keep up. The spade size doesn't match the size of the planting material or if the spade is staying too long in the ground, making a trench rather than a hole. So now that the planting material is in the ground, the next step is to ensure there is good contact between the base of the planting material and the soil. This is critical to get uniform and quick establishment. In some circumstances, such as cloddy or dry soil, it helps to run a light roller over the bed within two days of planting. However, only use a roller when crowns or small slips are used, not when planting suckers or large slips. An alternative method is to apply about 20 millimetres of irrigation after planting, or get a lucky fall of rain at the end of the day. To summarise, planting well is essential for crop uniformity as this is a key to profitability. Take care of your planting material, grade your planting material into different sizes, Treat planting material with phosphorus acid either by spraying prior to harvest or by dipping prior to planting. Select the size of the planting spade to suit the size of the planting material. And lastly, undertake regular checks of the planting process and encourage your planting staff to report problems. <laughs>